In the Carolina Kitchen today, fingerling potatoes are a great alternative for dishes that traditionally use a russet or new potato. This appetizer will really wow your dinner guests. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Emily Abernathy, of course, with Corner Kitchen Catering is here with us, and you're doing something that looks so cute every time you do it. Mm -hmm. I think you just need a little bit of patience, right? Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> but they look awesome. Tell mm -hmm. us about them. All right. Well, these are this item is one of our signature items. It is a fingerling potato cup with creme fraiche and caviar, and it's actually very simple, but it's not necessarily easy to prepare. It's going to take uh, a little bit of time, just a little but bit totally of time. worth it. Totally worth it. All right. Uh, so you take a fingerling potato, and you want to Blanch these in boiling salted water for about eight minutes, um, and you want to cut them into about one inch pieces first, and cut off the bottom so that when you set them down, they're stable. Okay. Um, so after you've blanched your potatoes, you want to take a melon baller, and you want to make a cut on either side, just kind of notch it, and then scoop so that you don't get the scoop too close to the edge, like okay. I did with that one. And uh, we take a creme fraiche. Now, you can make your own creme fraiche, but it takes about three days. So we recommend using sour cream. Okay. Uh, so you take sour cream. You want to put it in a squeeze bottle if you have one. And just fill half of your cup, just half, with the creme fraiche. And then you want to take your caviar. Now, uh, we recommend going to your tailgate market and getting a Sunburst trout product. We right. do these with Sunburst caviar often as well. And it has a beautiful color, nice and orange. But this is an American paddlefish roe. It's very similar to Ocetra, but a little more cost effective. And you want to take some caviar. You can uh, be the judge of how generous you would like to be with your guests. But basically what we're going for here is almost a... Uh, a yin yang of color variation. They're so cute. They are adorable. So take your caviar and then we take chives which we've cut on the bias into small pieces, cut. you know, about a about a half inch. And you essentially make a little sail with your chives. So you imagine these lined up, you know, you have a, a huge row of these. They're just so adorable. They're easy to pick up. They taste delicious. It's a very refined item. And, you know, like I said, this isn't a, a very labor intensive product in terms of the preparation. Right. But the execution just takes a little patience. Yes, but it's going to be, again, totally worth it because mm -hmm. this is going to wow your guests. This exactly. is not your typical. Exactly. Just ham and cheese little mini sandwich we've got mm -hmm. going on here. Yeah. All right, let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Or, of course, go to our Pinterest page and check out all of the pictures and the recipes there. They look amazing. Emily, thank you so much. Thank they're you, so Holly. cute, and they're going to definitely be the star of your next party. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.